Hi guys, so welcome to week two of A Week in Review 2017. So let me go through, oh, I have a hair in front of my face somewhere and it's driving me crazy. Um, so first off, let's start with weigh-in. So last week I was up, I don't remember how much I actually gained, but I weighed in at 195 and so that was two pounds up from December 23rd where I maintained. So the last loss I had within was December 16th and I'm sorry, my allergies are killing me today and so I'm just really congested. Um, so December 16th was the last time I had a loss um, which brought me to 193 and then December 23rd I maintained and then I have gained since then and like I said, I wasn't sure why because I didn't overindulge or anything. I think it was had to do with one not tracking during the two weeks of the holidays, during the week of Christmas and the week of New Year's until I got back in back to work and back on track because I had the two weeks off around the holidays. And so I contribute, I think, to, to not tracking because even though I felt like I was making healthy choices, I don't know what was going on as far as point-wise because I wasn't keeping track of them. And secondly, I wasn't like tracking my water. I wasn't making conscious decisions. And I think, you know, I don't know. I'm I actually, I'm kind of glad in a way that I'm still so far away from goal because I feel like I still have a lot to learn about how to maintain, if that makes any sense. So first let me give my weigh-in and then I'll go more on that thought. So today, so last week I weighed in at 195. So today I weighed in at 193.4. So it was a 1.6 loss. So yay, I'm happy about that. I'm still 0.4 away from my lowest, which was 193. So I have lost a total of 41 pounds exactly um, since I've been on Weight Watchers. And it is a loss of, oh, I should have figured that out. Okay, so a total loss of 86.6 pounds. So um, I had lost, obviously, quite a bit before I started Weight Watchers. So about half, I guess, about almost half the amount. So um, so anyway, I'm really excited. I'm glad that the scale's going down. Um, so kind of going back to the th other thought, I think, like I said, I think I have a lot to learn as far as tracking kind of in my head and I have no problem I love Weight Watchers and if even once I get to goal and I'm on you know maintenance and then lifetime I still plan on tracking and I think that's what I need to do because I think it obviously shows even though I think I'm making um, good decisions I'm not making them consciously because I'm not I don't have kind of a threshold and maybe you know 40 pounds down the line when I get to goal, I it won't matter. Maybe I will. So anyway, I think that this way what y'all love Weight Watchers is like such a tool to keep me aware of where I need to be. And that I'm not necessarily saying going over points. I'm saying maybe not eating enough because going to the last two weeks, I I recently discovered the blue dots on the app. Once somebody in our Facebook group said something about the blue dots and um, that made me go look for it and really start thinking about it and so I started looking back and I never gained a blue dot and it's usually because I don't eat enough points and so that really opened my eyes to okay I think Weight Watchers gives you these points for a reason but I also don't want to eat just to eat because I think that goes against people who have food addictions like ourselves or myself, I mean, I know a lot of people else out there, is that if we're telling ourselves, okay, we have to eat to get all 30 points just to eat when we're not hungry, I think that's kind of going backwards. And so some suggestions from you guys, which worked wonderfully this week, was instead of like, okay, I need to eat something, it's in the end of the day, I better go eat a yogurt or something because I need to get at least two more points in for the day. Instead, their ideas, your guys' ideas were to, okay, so when I have my salads, bulk it up. Put, you know, some, you know, more, instead of the fat-free cheese, put some reduced fat cheese on there. Or um, put some avocados on there. Put some nuts on there. Some seeds. Just bulk up the things I'm already eating at meals to make a little bit higher point meals throughout the day. If I know I'm not going to have anything, if I know I don't need to leave points for anything else. I'm not a big eater after dinner. I usually just want my cup of coffee and I'm good to go 
or I crave fruit or something at the end of the day. So I don't have to worry about leaving points to have anything. And I think it's maybe a good thing that, I mean, I may, if I could get a hold of some of the treats that I see um, all my um, YouTube friends out there have, like the Halo Top and the, you know, sugar-free popsicles, things like that. I cannot find those in my stores. And so maybe that's a good thing that they're not here and readily readily available to me because if they were I probably would want those things and so I would have to leave points so I have the ability throughout the day to make my meals a little bit higher points because knowing I just need to leave one point at the end of the day for my coffee which I always pre-track in the morning either um, anyway so that's another thing I've been doing this week is bulking up my food and another thing I've been doing is pre-tracking through the entire day so if I know I'm gonna have something at the end of the day I just track it in the morning and then if I don't have it then I can bulk up my dinner but I just I try to been trying to pre-track my entire day that way I know what I can do to like say my dinner to make it a little bit higher point or to my lunch you know whatever I want to do so those have been my successes this week is um oh and um so yeah so i've been trying to eat, i've been eating more points and it shows because i've gotten a blue dot every day this week so um i've gotten one monday tuesday wednesday and thursday i have blue dots so even though i'm not like doing any kind of blue dot challenge or whatever is kind of within myself that i want to do those blue dots so i'm very proud of that and that shows that i've been eating more and i have lost weight so let me tell you how step into tracking the new year is going is going really well um now let's go through all the challenges that um em has given us so steps i challenged to do eight thousand steps which i have not completed this week um i did one day and that was yesterday and i actually ended the day with over ten thousand even though i recorded nine thousand something because i just with the time i was doing my planner that's what it was and i just didn't want to have to get my planner out because i yeah, it's already put away for the day so anyway, um, so my steps, I did not do it, but I work has been crazy. I've had meetings every single day this week. I have been standing when I've been at my desk, but I've been having to do a lot of sit down meetings this week. So it was just not possible with being out of the house 50 hours out of the week, um, at work or driving. So it just wasn't possible. I did do my workouts though. And so I'll go through that here in a second what I've done in my workout. So I feel like I'm still moving. I'm still making a conscious effort to get away from my desk and move. So it's still, I'm still working within the challenge, which is to be more aware of what we're doing. So even though I didn't complete it every week, I am still trying and I'm still making the effort to do so. But I did track, so track is number two. Um, I did track every single thing every single day. And you will see, I did indulge in a few things and I tracked them. Um, working out, um, she has a challenge where we work out 10, 10 minutes a day, six days a week. I challenged myself to do three of those six days would be at least 30 minutes. I only completed that one day, I believe. Yeah, one day, but I did do at least 10 minutes, six days a week. So I did complete the actual challenge. And then water, I believe I did water every single day. And that's another thing with the water this week. Instead of chugging it, I was just drinking when thirsty. And that really, I think, really helped me spread my water out throughout the day and really um, helped me, oh my gosh, this hair. Um, it just helped me appetite-wise. I think I just, I did really good. I feel like I did really good with water. And even drinking when thirsty, I still ended up having at least 10 cups a day, I believe, every day. We'll look and see. Okay, so that's step into tracking the new year. And then my healthy habits challenge this week, I challenged you guys and myself to um, eat at least one of our snacks a day to be clean eating snacks. And I gave you guys kind of a list and I have done that every single day. Um, did weigh in. And so the only challenge I really had this week was the workouts, was doing my 30 minute work, at least 30 minute workouts. I really don't feel like I had any other challenges this week. I really went to this week with a positive attitude and it really paid off. So that's, I just need to do that every single week. <laughs> so, um, and then my successes, really the blue dots, I did that well. I tracked everything. I had a loss this week. So, and I did really did good eating my points almost every day. So let me um, turn you guys around and show you my tracking. So going back to last Friday, I did my one mile workout. 
my steps was that and then Saturday I did my one mile workout and my steps were 73.12 so um I'll go back to this week so then Sunday I got 62.32 did my one mile I was going to rest that day but when I got home from um shopping and doing um what did I have to do on Sunday oh no it was meal prep day on Sunday I decided to go ahead and do a mile um Monday one mile and then that many steps these days I got mixed up when I was writing them in my tracker because I didn't write these in until the next day. Anyway, I did take a rest day on Tuesday. Um, and these are my steps. Not good. And then Thursday I did my three miles. And then that was my steps. So then food-wise, let's go back here. So you can see Friday I did have 45 out of 30 points. Oh, I forgot to write how many points I had here. Oops, but... Anyway, everything is tracked there, and then as far as water goes, I got 8 cups on Friday, 10 cups on Saturday. So I did miss one day of water, and then this week, everything's tracked. So my only slow day was a Sunday. I did have 22 out of 30. I did not get a blue dot that day. But Monday, I had 31 out of 30, so I used one weekly. I ended up with 26 weeklies left this week. Um... Tuesday I had 27 out of 30, Wednesday 27 out of 30, and Thursday 27 out of 30. You can see I had 11 cups of water there, 12 cups there, 11 cups there, 10 cups there, and 11 cups there. And then, um, so, I, for some reason, was really craving, like, chocolate this week. So I don't know if it's almost that time of the month, but I did have two Dove chocolates what do I have? Chips. Did I have chips? Oh, I did have some chips, but I had two Dove chocolates there. I had two Dove chocolates there, two Dove chocolates there. The Dove chocolates are gone. <laughs> Those are the dark um, Dove chocolate promises. And so I did have a little miniature Reese's peanut butter cup yesterday. So I, it's all gone. There's no more chocolate or candy in my house. So it is gone. So I shouldn't have to worry about that. But I did track it and obviously it did not put me over my points. So there you go. Oh, and then my healthy habits challenge. I tracked that over here. And I also was still challenging myself this week to the fruit and vegetable challenge. So I was doing both since they kind of are really similar. So this is where I tracked them. So I did those every day. Anyway, I thought I had a really great week. I cannot wait to talk to you guys on Sunday and how your guys' week went and how you guys did with the healthy habits challenge and how you're doing with step into tracking. So, um, yeah, so have a wonderful weekend. I will have my usual videos up this weekend. Um, the second Weight Watcher on a Budget video will be up on Saturday, grocery haul. Um, if my husband doesn't work on Monday, then I will be doing a day in the life vlog on Monday because I don't work as a holiday. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.